This tutorial is an introduction to using the free diet planner that I created that's available for download from our website. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty no frills. It's just an Excel spreadsheet that calculates your macronutrient intake, your calories, and things like that. The reason why Derek and I prefer this to a lot of the free planners out there is this one. It's easy to just enter in ingredients that you use. It's easy to enter in your own recipes and it's easy to create meal plans and to save days as a food journal. So in spite of all the fancy stuff that's out there, this is what Derek and I use on a daily basis. So I figured <clears throat> why not explain how to use it to you since some people have trouble just reading these instructions and understanding what to do from that, especially if you're not familiar with Excel. So the way this planner works is you have a sample day here. Um, this is where you're going to be entering in your information to get a, an idea of the amount of calories that you need to consume daily. This is just a guideline. Obviously what you're going to want to do is, you know, track how many calories you're eating a day for a little while and see, you know, check your weight, check your, the way you look, see are you maintaining, are you losing weight, are you achieving your goal, and then adjust your calories based on that. This is just a guideline though, and it's usually pretty accurate for me anyway. This is what I use to see if I'm eating enough calories because a big problem that people have, surprisingly, is not eating enough. Um, you'd enter your weight, you enter your body fat percentage, you enter the um, your activity, activity level, which is over here to the right, sedentary, very active, etc. You select your goal, you can choose maintain, lose, or gain, and then it's going to calculate a um, recommended calorie intake for that goal. So using that as a guideline, what you do is you'd the way I use this is just to enter in what I'm eating and see where I stand, see what kind of adjustments I need to make. Do I need to eat more? Do I need to eat less? And so on. So you come down here. This is where you enter your meals. Um, Derek has a first meal at 3 in the morning. He has a protein shake, but I don't, so I've skipped that part. Here I've just put in my breakfast. I have oatmeal um, and a smoothie, so I've put in those ingredients. You select the ingredients from the drop down here or you can just type things in either way. Typing in works as long as you enter it in exactly is the only problem with doing it that way. So I have oatmeal, I have all this stuff. It's calculated my calories, protein, carbs, fat, fiber, and so on over here. And then I have my meal totals. This tells me how many calories, how many grams of protein are in that meal. And more importantly, it tells me the percent of calories from protein, from carbs, and from fat. For us, we try to hit a ratio of 25, 60, 15. So when I look at each individual meal, I'm looking to see how close it hits those targets. And then I do that overall at the bottom as well. So for each meal, I enter in my information. I have my first meal of the day, breakfast. I have a snack. I have lunch, another snack, and then dinner. And then at the bottom, it gives me my daily total. So it tells me that I've consumed 2251, which is extremely close to my target. It tells me that my ratios are 23, 66, 10, which is good enough for me. Our protein tends to go from 20 to 30 percent and so on. We definitely don't do the low carb thing as you can see and it works for us. Derek also likes to track um, water. He's really big on getting his clients to track their water and sleep intake as well. We always try to hit a target of three liters or more a day. So that's that portion of the planner. In order to use this function where you can select your ingredients and so on, you obviously need to have ingredients. Um, I've already entered in a bunch that we eat over here. There's um, some recipes of ours and some things like corn tortillas, etc. But the beauty of, the, of this planner is the flexibility. You can just continue to add things here. Whatever it is um, that you eat on a daily basis, you can add here. You can add oat bran, for example, garbanzo beans, whatever. And to, enter, to um, figure out what the calories and protein and carbs and so on are, there's lots of online services for that. So one of the sites that we use to get nutrition information is nutritiondata.com. Um, you can come here and enter in a food. In this case, I entered in strawberries. It'll give you the calories, the fat, the cholesterol, and so on. So this is per cup. It's important to note the serving size when you go back to the diet planner and enter in your serving size here. You're going to be entering in the name, how many, you know, one cup, one can, one 
olive, one ounce, one gram, whatever your um, unit of measurement is. You want to enter that here, your calories, protein, and so on. So that's how you enter in your ingredients. To enter in your recipes, you go to the Enter Recipes tab. You'd enter the recipe name, how many servings the recipe is going to make, and then here you would put your ingredients um, and your serving and so on. And it's going to bring in the calorie and protein and carb information from your ingredients tab. So make sure that whatever you're putting into the recipes here is included in the ingredients tab already, or it's going to give you an error when you try to type it in here, or it won't be in the drop down. Notice that I just have lentils, crushed tomatoes, corn tortilla, and so on. Obviously, I'm going to use spices and things like that in this, but I'm not bothering to enter it because thyme or oregano or whatever, it's not going to have any contribution to the calories or carbs or fat or anything, so I don't bother with that. That keeps this a little bit simpler. It's just I'm just entering the things that I know are going to contribute to the totals. So once I've entered in everything here, this creates my ingredient information for me. <clears throat> I have my lentil tacos, my serving size, my calories, and so on. I just select this. I'm not going to bother selecting that since there's no cholesterol. It's just giving me an error. I select it. I right-click, press Copy, and then I go back to the Ingredients tab, right-click, paste Special, and do Values um, and Number Formats. I want to do that because if I just do Copy and Paste, then it's going to give me um, an error because the formulas are going to copy and they're not the links aren't going to work and it's going to just give me a bunch of random crap that doesn't make any sense. So it's important to do right click, paste special values and formats here. So now I've entered in. So I've shown you how to enter ingredients, how to enter recipes. Um, the co our copy that we have available for download has a bunch of my recipes already in there, smoothies, soups, salads, things that you can just, you can take and you can um, use. You can enter that information into the recipe planner if it's not already in the ingredients list. Some things are already in here. Minestrone, butternut squash soup, these things link to um, recipes that are on our website. So you can store your recipes here if you want to. Another thing that we use this planner for, as I mentioned earlier, is creating menus. So you can create menus in here by coming in to the sample day, um, changing whatever it is you want to do in here. Let's say I want to, um, this is the beauty of the planner really, is you can have a base of basic things that you eat. <clears throat> like every day our breakfast is the same, our snacks are pretty much the same, dinners and lunches are what change. So it's very easy to come in and just make min, uh, minute changes and create a whole new menu. I can come in and take the sample day and see, you know, what if I want to have, instead of little tacos, I want to have um, another of my recipes, um, brown rice pasta. Three servings is obviously a lot, so let's change that and see what happens if I have one serving. Then my protein is 24, 65, 13. So that looks like a pretty good menu right there. Obviously, I wouldn't just... I'm going to not have broccoli cream soup with this. I'm going to make some other changes and see what that does. Basically, that's what you can do with this. You can come in, um, you know, change things around to hit your targets, manipulate things, make some changes, see what's going to happen if I have one serving of this soup instead. What's that going to do? Nothing. I can go ahead and have one and still meet my targets, and that might bring me closer to my calorie goals. What if I delete this because I'm not going to have soup with pasta. It takes me down a little bit, but it still looks pretty good. So this could be a whole other menu right here just by changing this. So that's what you can do. Um, once you've made some changes in here and made a new day for yourself um, with your own recipes and your own snacks and so on, what you can do is you can take this sample day, right click, select move or copy, select create a copy, and then this just tells you where you want um, your new page to appear. I'm going to have it appear before Monday in these tabs, and it's giving me a second version here, sample day. I don't know why it gave me that error. I'm going to have to look into that. So here I can just rename this, you know, in this case what I've done, this is how I created my menu. I just renamed them as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on. Another use that you can have for this planner is to come in here, um, record your meals for the day, 
and then save it as the date as a food journal. That's what Derek does every night. He comes in and enters in all his information and then saves it with the date, 1222 or whatever the case may be. So you can use it as a menu planner, as a um, food journal. You can use it simply to gauge where you stand just by using it every once in a while and entering in your information and seeing how close you're getting to where you think you should be on calories and protein, fat and carbohydrates and so on. 